betrayed me, Levi. Eivor. Got a real little fishery going here. Are you the man in charge? It's my grandfather, really. But he says the best way to learn responsibility is to work sides. Between you and me, I'm better at it. More of a people person, you know? I do. It's good to have you. Both of you. to true poetry. Compare. I think it conquers it. It is quick, clever, accessible to all. It is the art of the masses. What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. <clears throat> you see, flighting is simple. So hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and... Uh, and, um... Lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? Alvis is the clear winner, Holger. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. Eivor, my stable is a bit spared just now, but if you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. It's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it! I would like to see what you have in stock. All done? I will see you later, friend. Take care. Ah, a new 
letter. What a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am... Looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted ice. Volka! God, Sabo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flecks of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. Here we are. 
Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly. have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All-Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane. The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds.
message has come. I should meet this abbess, Wolfhilda. Knut, what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor, we need your help. Who is we? S Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. Come on, Eivor. Can't you run any quicker? Knut, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh. That is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There's no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor oh, her. She's crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. needs a key. If I'm lucky, there's one nearby. No key here. I should look around. Shame Wallace isn't here to butcher you. But I need to see if you're carrying a key. I'll free that wolf. And pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. These skulls bear teeth marks. The wolf must have helped him take them down. The man liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Easy. Wait, wait, easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it is time to get you three back to the settlement. Before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right.
Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone, you understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. Oh, more wolves! And not our new friend! Stand back! <laughs> Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. De Wolfka. What? De Wolfka. It's like dog wolf. <sighs> no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy, because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? Chewy, I suppose. Good as any other. She's our best friend. Now we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. Well... Have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned? Just until we get home? I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now scamper off home and take your new friend with you. Day. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I'll tell all my friends of this fortune. I thought you were a cheat, a swindler, but you were right. Lord, light your way. What has spurred his little heart? Ah, my soon-to-be highly coveted elixir. You see, one gulp puts you to sleep, and when you wake up, you are suddenly richer. <laughs> I've not heard this ruse before. It sounds like one I know, and I cannot explain how it works, but it does. Take that gentleman's elation as proof. He and many others have returned to me, all with different tales to tell, but all wealthier in the end. All right. 
Give me the elixir. I don't have any on hand. To brew this elixir involves great risk. You must be certain you are up for the challenge. Won't know until I hear it. Very well. There are two crucial ingredients you must bring me. Bear testicles and fresh lichen. Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of here where the bears have taken a liking to winter chanterelle. As for the lichen, you can find some growing in the well outside. Be careful. what you asked for very good let me get to work I will have the elixir ready shortly there we have it one elixir of miraculous wealth enjoy Alchemist, what happened to me after I drank that piss? How should I know? I told you, I cannot explain how it works. What I can say is the elixir hit you particularly hard. You stumbled out of here, then began sprinting across this forest as if you had a nose for something. Very feral. I was worried, but I'm glad to see you are all right. Your wealth has swelled, has it not? In a manner of speaking. I awoke in a cave beside a dead man clutching some treasure. Hmm. I've not heard that outcome before. One of your customers in the same pursuit, I think. Only he was not so lucky. Perhaps I should shelve this elixir for the time being. At least until I can better understand its effects. Good thinking. My own the bathrooms of the world! What ails my mind? Must be a hangover. Over here, good warrior. Hi, stranger. Excuse me, I have a slight pain. Do you notice anything on my head? It's a, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away. It appears to be a... A battle scar. Ah. As I suspected. It must be from my most recent battle. You should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse than... I suppose it's possible, yes? If he's headless? My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you think it is a serious wound? Good Drenga, you have an axe in your head. It is grim. I will take it out, but you will surely head off to the next realm soon. Ah, Valhalla it is. I appreciate your candid response. Now I prepare myself for the sights and sounds of the Corpse Hall. I will relieve you of the pain it gives you. Send you down the beef rust. It is time. You know... There's a great mead hall nearby. We could go there and reflect on our greatest exploits. Nothing finer than an endless night of drunken glory. To make you forget all of the dishonorable fops in this world. Just scolds and warriors full of mead and story greed. Oh yes. Let me weave you a hero saga from dirt and spittle. All your enemies have been slain. Now, 
You rejoice. <laughs> I want you to know that you can be like me. No longer dumb and angry like heathens. I, monk. No need to brag of your faith. Have you recently tested your faith? Considered the holy path? It is a better way, I swear to you. I am content with my gods. Not as content as I am with mine, I am sure. He allows me to avoid rage. I am never angry. Never. Good for you. Without anger in my life, I am completely changed. No longer obsessed with riches like you. They are meaningless because he loves me. Go ahead and burn my house. Destroy my belongings. I will never get angry. You seem lost and homeless. Make of mine what you will. You could burn it to the ground, and it will not change me. Yes, go ahead, destroy my crates and take my... You see? I am not angry. Make yourself at home. It does not bother me. You will soon change from your pagan ways. <laughs> yes, burn it down. The pyre of the past. Go ahead, destroy more. My faith cannot be broken. Thank you, Lord, for sending this devil to test my faith. Homestead? The livestock. This is all yours. They are not mine, but God's. I have converted to God, and now I share all things. Yes, you mentioned that. Curious, good man. What were you before you became so devout? I was just like you. A stupid heathen. Lost and violent. Speaking of which, you should try praying before it is too late. Too late? For what? The eternal fuckery you possess? And now you stand. Don't worry that stool is covered in shit. What is this? Oh no, that's... I mean, that key. Do what you like with it. Throw it in the river. My faith will not budge. This hut reeks. As if... A battlefield? Corpses? Are these your other converts? Or, or your past crimes? <laughs> you desecrate my integrity by insinuating such. But my faith cannot be desecrated. Praise be to my lord. Praise be to nothing. What crimes lie beneath your veil of Christ? What crimes have you gotten away with? 
You are no convert. You are a filthy opportunist. The church gave you riches. I am a strong, Christian, mild-mannered man of the cloth. My pagan past is gone. I am... A hypocrite, but not a shred of honor. You should pay for your crimes. People die unjustly in your newfound faith. I gave you a chance, heathen. I am a better, richer man for what I did. I changed course and... Fuck it! I am still the blood-hungry whore I once was! Fucking die, you putrid shit-eater! Die a thousand ways and times like the others! You would have sworn an oath to a pile of shit, you liar, full of false pride. You should be judged at an all thing for your crimes. I was willing to give up.